Just moving forward a little bit because I think that this mom is busy nursing here on the side of the mound. Give us a nice view of these cubs using mom as a bit of a jungle gym, but also as a milky bar. There we go, having dinner. Now, as we said to the lions a couple of nights ago, it's expensive to produce milk. It's far easier just to bring cubs to a carcass and let them feed on meat on their own and to metabolize energy from that rather than produce milk. But mama hyenas are some of the best mothers in the world and will continue to produce milk for up to two years, whereas a lion cub is fully weaned at nine months. And because of that, the mother hyena, the dominant mother hyena, needs to get as much meat as she can. And hyenas over the ages have dominant female hyenas over the ages have produced a bit more testosterone which gives them a higher competitive advantage over anyone else and so they will dominate kills they therefore have the best milk and will have the strongest cubs and they'll also bring meat back to the den it's not very common though and quite often uh, if a subordinate female had to bring meat back to the den for her babies uh, it's usurped by the dominant females cubs and uh, so it's quite common to find subordinate females taking their cubs to kills uh, earlier than what the matriarch will take her cubs to kills um, it's just that hierarchy amongst the social order of uh, of these of these uh, these hyena now david you wanted to know if uh, male hyena have any role in the rearing of these cubs yes absolutely david there will be an alpha male as well, and he, he can actually be quite big as well. Um, all the males of a particular pri of a particular clan will be faced with a choice. Do they become nomadic and become basically pariahs, but nine out of every ten of the babies born to a clan are born from these males, from these very low ranking but nomadic males? Or does a male choose health and well-being and status in a clan and unfortunately then give up his option to to sire babies so the males that choose to stay in a clan will help to protect the clan they will they will get food they will they will be protectors of the young uh, even though those babies are not their own they will they will defend the clan lands and play a very positive and, and uh, beneficial role in the clan society with the exception of spreading those genes to the next uh, to the next uh, generation that unfortunately is the price that nomadic males pay is that they've got to scavenge themselves not welcome anywhere but they they will father children Next, you wanted to know if a nomadic male hyena would kill a cub that wasn't theirs if they came across it. Um, next, no, I don't think so. I mean, it's yes, it's possible. I mean, why not? Um, but there's so many female hyena in a clan, and it's not just the matriarch that will have have cubs. That I think that a male hyena, nomadic male hyena, it, who is totally subordinate to every other hyena would play his chances woo the female in the clan be allowed to father the next generation but then they're not welcome there anymore they must move on and if they don't they'll be attacked and could even be killed so it's not in the best interest of a nomadic male to antagonize uh, the hierarchy and the dominant uh, of females because he'll be killed and then he what's the use you know what's the use of the sacrifice oh this is very cute but i'm sure just as cute as jamie and that black rock pride's lion cub so go and have a look at them for a bit we're really spoiled for choice this afternoon by the sounds of things look hard